Good morning. I want to talk to you like a friend. Even if I've never met you, I consider you just a friend that I've never met. You know, I used to have a saying in the church that I ran, for every person that came, they were a stranger but once. Well, talking to you like a friend, we have these discussions, and, uh, and I'm open with you on what's going on in my own life. Well, this morning, I got into the shower, and there was no hot water. A plumber is coming later on. That'll probably mean a new hot water heater. And here in Texas, they put the hot water heaters in the attic, which is a crazy thing. I don't know why they do that, but they do. Anyway, I went to the store the other day because I have a new motorcycle. And I thought, I'm going to get some hair gel, some stronger hair gel, uh, so that when I ride the motorcycle, my hair will not look like helmet hair all the time. So I bought this product. It's called uh, Got To Be Ultra Glued Invincible Styling Shell Gel uh, with Crazy Hold. Well, I got out of the cold shower this morning freezing, which is a, a, an invigorating way to get up. And then I put this hair gel in. And I tell you, I mean, when they say it is glued, uh, I apologize if my hair looks funny today. I've worked hard on it. But literally, I put the comb and the brush in there and... I couldn't get them out. And then uh, I tried to comb my hair. There's no way. My hair is glued. Well, I dried it. And I, the thing is, I sure was not going to get back in that shower again, even though I had these TV things to do. So uh, anyway, uh, my hair may not ever move again. It may be, uh, it, it is literally embalmed on top of my head. <laughs> and... <laughs> it's just, it, that's the way to look at life. Life is to be enjoyed no matter what's going on and to have you step back and laugh at your predicament that often you and I put ourselves in. It is springtime today. The flowers are out everywhere, at least in Texas. And I pray that no matter what the weather is outside, that it is springtime in your soul. No matter what's going on, if your hair is glued, if you've got a cold shower, uh, whatever, enjoy life. I pray that you're alive today, alert today, awake today, and joyous and enthusiastic and ready to let the Christ birth, burst forth into a full expression through you. I pray that you're filled with wonder in the mystical season of beauty and rebirth. You close the door of your mind and also your heart to wintertime thoughts and feelings. You're open to new and novel ideas, to freshness and to originality. The breath of springtime breathes in you, and as it does so, it transforms you. Even the routine and the ordinary happenings of every day are great. You look to your world with new eyes, and you find delight. Thank you, God, for this glorious day. Say that with me. Thank you, God, for this glorious day. Thank you that it is eternal springtime in my heart and in my soul. <laughs>